Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, for staying with us, that is on TVC Breakfast. Let's take you to the news uh, arena now, where at least 13 persons were killed following fresh attacks by suspected herdsmen in Azege settlement at Mbaya in Logo, local government area of Benue State. The immediate past caretaker chairperson of Logo local government area, Benjamin Uzenda, confirmed this development and said the attack was carried out on Sunday morning. The attackers were said to have destroyed farmlands and also burnt houses in the area. Mr. Ozenda says the gunmen were, who arrived with sophisticated weapons and immediately opened fire on residents who were preparing to attend morning church service and fled on site in the security personnel. As at the time of filing this report, the police in the area are yet to confirm the attack. This latest development is coming at a time the force commander of Operation World Stroke, Brigadier General Louis Leptung, is advocating sustained peace between communities and herders in Benue State. Mayo Akwato has more. The conflicts between Benue communities and others have persisted, resulting to death of thousands, destruction of properties, and sacking of many communities. Developing a non-kinetic approach to the conflict, the Operation Wild Stroke, led by its force commander, Brigadier General Louis Lepong, has held some meetings with relevant stakeholders. The latest meeting is to further consolidate on these gains and extend to other communities in Benue State. We feel like this time around we are already to see peace in Benue State. Because of we are sitting together with the governor of Benue State, peace, peace governor. By the grace of God, we see their peace in Benue State. Any disturbance we are, we are see that we are cooperating with the government and security agency, all those criminals we are apprehended. We want to ensure that every part of Benue State is peaceful. And so we want to return peace to every region of the state for now. And as you can see, we already have peace returning back to Agatu in full swing. This one, we now want to extend this series of meetings to other regions. So by these engagements, we prove whether or not uh, the, the felonies are truly involved in the crisis or conflicts that we hear around the state. So it's important that we hear from both sides, give them the opportunity to speak, just like every other person. It is just a series of engagement. Today, the Fulanese themselves are celebrating the fact that Agatu is returning back to peace. Force Commander Operation Wild Stroke appealed for sustained peace for development. Peace. And I assure you, we will get it. If we have that advice, that we have come here to seek truth and seek peace. On that note, I want to thank everybody for coming, and I wish you joy in mercies. And please, don't be tired. We'll call you again for another meeting. This meeting will hopefully resolve lingering issues with solutions profiled and create harmonious relationship with various parties. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News. I do state now where Governor Monde Okwebolo has approved the formation of a 14-member assets verification committee to investigate the administration.